what I mean that wherever you can save your energy of thinking, you should do it. For small, small things, there is no need to have for varieties and this country, as I've told you before, that every tap has to be different, every handle is to be different, every tile has to be different. What is the need? What has to be different is artistic things. Sari has to be different because it is artistic. But what is in a stitching of a blouse, there is no art in it involved. So whatever is artistic can be different, but whatever is mundane need not be. In the machinery, why should you have different types of things? You go mad. You go to a shop, there are twenty types of things. You don't know which one to buy. All made by machine only. This is good, that is good. Then another fellow, he comes, he says, not good. Then you feel hurt. But if you have for mundane things, few things is better that you do not take too many headaches upon yourself. So best thing to avoid all these problems is to use your new awareness of vibrations. So you save your energies. Your energies must be saved. And they can be saved if you do not pay attention to things which are not your style, where you don't have to go. Just see vibrations. If I go for shopping, now I go shopping for various reasons, as you know. One is to put my vibrations there. Well, another is to put also vibrations on the people who are in the market. Thirdly is to look at all the things so my vibrations go on to them. Fourthly, to buy something to be given to others. But if I like something, it is only through vibrations and I buy it somehow. because it is to be given to someone or something has to be done later. I just buy it, keep it, it comes very handy. That is how your attitude should be. But on the contrary, if you just go on, I like this, I don't like it, about your wife, about your jobs, your everything, you will be uncertain. These days in America people are very funny about their jobs also. I have to touch these points because you will face this problem. Today they are doing some job, I don't like it, I don't like my boss, another job. Then they go to another job, they change it. Then third job, change it. They like to change, you know, all the time. It's maddening, I tell you. Change their wives, change their house, change everything. Why? Have only one. A wife is better. At the most have two jobs in life is better. <laughs> and at the most change. Three residences is better. But more than that is a headache. I mean, to me, I have changed forty houses because of my husband's temperament. <laughs> <laughs> but I am different because I am absolutely a person who is not bothered, whatever change comes. But you are not the same, so don't waste your energy. So this is very important to understand. Not to go on changing jobs is very important. Because that is also a craze, I tell you. I'll tell you about Douglas. He used to do that. Every time he had financial problem because he was changing jobs. So one day I told him off. I said, Douglas, if you change this job, because I saw the vibrations are all right, if you change this job, that you are not going to see me again. And now, today, he has got a house, he's got a car, uh, he's got money in the bank, he's doing well. So that also is a headache for me. Whether I have no job, I have no money, what am I doing? So now we must understand we must have proper jobs. We have to be respectable people. We must have proper qualifications if possible. Better to get some qualifications. You are all very intelligent people and you can get your qualifications. You should have a respectability in the society. Otherwise they'll think that this mother is the mother of all the beggars. So steady yourself in your jobs, in your houses. To steady yourself, you must learn not to change. The change makes you unsteady. Do you see the point? So there is no question of changing. I am going to go through it. Then if it is necessary, if it is not workable, then one can change.